I'm doing my books to munch this month of February. It's February. How is it February? books this month and I'm actually really looking forward to the books that I have chosen this month. They are all fairly old books, like books that I've had on my shelf for a long time. And of course there is my Angie Pink of the Month, which has also been sitting on my Kindle shelf for a very long time. I'm being pretty daring this month and I'm actually choosing a book which is about 700 pages or 660 something pages. It's a very, very long book. I don't know if I'm going to get through it, but it has been sitting on my bookshelf for about four years, possibly more, and I have the next book in that series as well just because I've heard such good things about it and I keep seeing the other ones and everyone keeps talking about the author, and I just decided that I'm going to do my best to read this super long book plus the two others that I want to read this month. And that behemoth of a book is... Mistborn Book One, The Final Empire by the infamous Brandon Sanderson and I have never read a Brandon Sanderson book basically because the ones that I seem to see are huge. So I've decided that 2019 is going to be the year that I read at least the first book in this series. It says, the mists rule the night, the Lord Ruler owns the world. And from my understanding of the blurb, basically, obviously, the um, Lord Ruler is a bad person, and basically, ash is falling from the sky, it's a dark time, the Scar, I believe they're called, yes, the Scar are the people, are basically enslaved and forced to live out a life of misery, however, they are planning an uprising that depends on a street urchin, um, mastering the powers of Allomancy, which is the power of a Mistborn. I don't know what the power of a Mistborn is, but obviously I'm guessing it's something magnificent. So that sounds really intriguing to me. I've been looking forward to the, reading this for so long. It's blurbed by Robin Hogg, who's also another brilliant fantasy author that I really need to find the time to read at some point. Have you read any Rob Hogg by books, by the way? Because if you have, I would love recommendations below, preferably those that are 600 pages or less. But if he is a beast writer, then so be it. The second book I'm reading has been on my shelf for, again, we're going for a ding, 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 four years to five years. Again, also possibly more, but I think not more. This one, I think, is four to five years. I actually bought this book before buying another book by the same author, but ended up reading that book first. And I liked it, but I didn't love it, and so that has made me put, be, put off reading this one for so long. However, I have heard really great things about this book, so I've decided to finally read it and make my own opinion of it. I started reading the first few pages, and I did like where it was going, so I think I'm going to enjoy it. And that is Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. So. What I kind of understood from it is that it is a Wizard of Oz retelling and Dorothy is the Dorothy with the ruby slippers, but it's told from somebody else's perspective. This other someone is called Amy Gummin, I believe. Amy Gum, and basically she's the other girl from Kansas, and she also gets swept up in a tornado, she also ends up in Oz, but she sees it from a very different point of view, where the wicked witches may actually be the good guys, and where the good witches may actually be the bad guys. And Amy has been recruited by a revolutionary um, order of the wicked, which sounds really cool, and what I really like about this, and what really made me be like, yeah, I want to read this, is this last thing. Basically, Amy's been given a mission, and that is remove the Tin Woodman's heart, steal the scarecrow's brain, take the lion's courage, and then Dorothy must die. So I'm very intrigued. Are actually Amy and the Wicked Witches good, or is it actually Wizard of Oz, but we're going to see it from the villain's perspective? And am I going to be rooting for the villain, or am I going to be rooting for, for the trusted oldies that we all know and love? The third and final book that I'm reading this month is my Andy Pickle book! Another Kelly St. Clair book, but this one is co-authored with Ray Wagner, and it is called Blood Oath. So, first of all, the cover of Blood Oath really gripped me. Like I say, I have a lot of books on my Kindle, so now I'm really just doing the judging of book by its cover, and also trying to read different indie authors um, every month. But like I said, I have read a Kelly St. Clair book, however, I really enjoyed that book, and this one is co-authored with Ray Wagner, and I'd love to read Ray Wagner and see her style as well, and see how a co-authored book actually works. Because, woman, because 
I'm not actually familiar with it and I've always wondered could I co-author a book and it probably have to be different perspectives and one writes one and one writes the other but I'm actually not entirely sure so I'm looking forward to seeing the dynamics of that as well but also just the cover is so pretty and I decided that I wanted to read it and it sounds really really cool. So keeping in the theme of like misborn and evil overlords and you know oppressed societies, Blood Oath takes place in a land called Varald which is um, run by a dragon shifter and the king and basically there is a rebellion and an uprising as you would expect in an oppressed society and the main character finds themselves tangled up in the game when they get abducted by said dragon shifter Lord Eric I believe so Lord Eric for some reason abducts the main character and the main character ends up tangled up in this web of rebellion and intrigue and people trying to overthrow the government and basically they end up fighting for their life and also possibly a love they didn't expect and what I really like about the blurb is that it says what if the truth means you're not who or what you think you are and so those are the three books that I will be reading this month and hopefully I do manage to get through them I don't know how long um, Blood Oath is because like I said it's on Kindle and that's kind of different with its like locations and stuff um, but I'm hoping that somehow I'm gonna fly through um, Mistborn and so I can still finish the other two. I remember Children of Blood and Bone is quite long um, by Tomi Adeyemi and I did manage to read that one fairly quickly so hopefully, hopefully February will be a successful reading month and I will get through the three and maybe possibly read Iron Gold next month if I can pick up my reading speed because that's another one that I really want to read and it's also a beast, a beast, a beast. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have you read any of the books that I plan to read this month or are you planning on reading any of the books I am planning on reading this month? And if you have read them, what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Send me a message, yada yada, the usual. And that is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. But if you like all my other videos, then please consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll see you.